Hi, my name is Ward, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I am venturing into the Botanical Gardens, and one of my favorite places, the Butterfly Garden. And I'm going to try to get some pictures, so y'all come along with me. I got up early this morning, and I was one of the first people in the botanical gardens, and as I got there, it was really quiet. Almost nothing was flying around. And as I looked closer, I noticed that all the bees were hiding underneath the leaves of all the plants. Almost as if they were waiting for the day to warm up so that they could begin flying around. So I decided just to uh, take a walk around the gardens for a while and see if I could find anything else because there really wasn't anything happening in the butterfly garden just yet. With my camera, I was using a uh, 135mm Minolta MD mount f2.8 lens and I was attaching this to a Canon EF mount and when you attach that lens to that mount you can't get infinity focus so you're limited to only focusing up close so with this camera and this configuration I can only focus from about three to six feet away. So here I am taking a few pictures and you know these don't really interest me that much. So I quickly decided to head to a different part of the, uh, the gardens. And as I'm walking through this path I see a little, little tiny red flower over on the lower right side of this path. Kind of catches my eye. I decide I'm going to set my GoPro down. And it's a, it's a pretty challenging thing to do. You'll notice that when I walk up, I'm able to get a fairly quick photo using the optical viewfinder because I've gotten pretty good at aiming the camera with that and getting a focus. Much more challenging is when I have to use my flippy screen in bright sunlight. I can hardly see anything. And here I am, I'm fumbling around. I, I almost can't even I can't even find the flower in the in the optical or sorry the uh, the flippy screen I eventually find it and then I'm I'm having to slowly shift back and forth to try to find focus because I have to move the camera closer and further away to focus it when you're working this close and I'm also trying to frame my composition you know obviously I don't have a tripod so it's 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 a hard thing to do. So finally, finally get my focus and take my shot. I was hoping this would come out to be a really great photo. It is it's pretty cool, but I wasn't really that happy with it, so I decided to kind of move on. And so I was uh, enjoying walking around, and so I set out up this hill and just to the top of this hill was uh, was another photographer. You'll see him come into view here in the distance in a, in a minute. So I immediately took off somewhere else because obviously I just enjoy doing photography all on my own. And the one thing about the botanical gardens is you've got almost what feels like limitless different ecosystems that they've they've set up. So you just spend a little bit of time walking, you'll be somewhere completely different. And 
And once I made my way back to the butterfly gardens, everything was flying around. A ton of bees, bumblebees and honeybees. And then I looked around shortly after filming this and I finally saw it. I finally saw the butterfly. I didn't really have the time to set up the GoPro or try to catch video of myself taking this picture, but I was like, yep, that's the photo I wanted. My trip to the botanical gardens is now complete. I've got my butterfly picture to post to Instagram. Everybody will love it. My day is done. The end. Perfect photo to the end of the perfect walk. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop me a few comments below to encourage me. And if you want to see a close-up of my camera that I was using to take these, this would be it right here. This would be the Minolta 135 lens and I will uh, take this off so you can take a look at it. It is a fairly wide aperture lens. And the way this mounts on the camera gives you a nice shallow depth of field so that you can get a really neat focus on your on your subject. And it's just, uh, it's one that I don't use that often, but when I use it, it does do some great macro photos. So, hope you have a good day. Catch you later.